might as well ban it out. And scary faces, they take out Chen again. Makes sense against Team Secret, but also the Queen of Pain. I'm not sure if, yeah, again, Queen of Pain was actually that big of an issue that it warrants a ban, but I guess it does leave the hero pole very wide open with heroes such as Troll being left, for example, or Sniper, Shadow Fiend. All right, so we see with the Night Stalker coming out with Chen, the Queen of Pain, and the Earthshaker, and then a Batrider just first picked up from Scary Faces. So, I mean, that's that's a pretty solid first pick, but the Sniper and the Troll are both online, and in Secret, just get them both. What the hell? Huh. I, I mean, if you let them both through, might as well bo pick both of them up. But why would you give away both of them? That's that's the real question. Yep, that's the real question, and I hope that Scary Faces have some sort of game plan around that. I would love to see if they could, you know, sort of like pick a very aggressive lineup that just gangs the sniper all the time, gangs the troll all the time. I don't know. Um, they already have the bat right already, which is a good hero to gank with. Um, Ten seconds. I guess it's a bit here and there, um, considering that Sniper does, I won't, I won't say counter Bad Rider, but just because of the long range and the Shrapnel, you can, you know, make sure to cancel that blink dagger, so there's that interaction. But Scary Faces also go for the Storm, so yeah, a lot of ganking potential already. Yeah, I like that pickup. Uh, that'll be at least something good to kill off the Sniper. Uh, the Troll still, I don't know, I'm really scared for this game right now, for Secret. Well, not for Secret, for uh, SFZ, seeing as to how they just Game with the two Radiant most team. banned and most powerful heroes in the game currently in this meta. But Slark gets taken away, the Brood Mama as well, and I mean, just need some more blank initiations from Scary Faces. Like, if they take up the Lion, if they take up a uh, Disruptor again, like, the Disruptor last game, absolutely phenomenal play. Shadowway, like, my hat's off to him, he was MVP for me, at least. Yeah, for sure. Um, he played outstandingly, and like, in all those mid-game uh, uh, team fights, just the fact that he got a really crucial static storm on crucial heroes was, you know, a game changer for them. So, um, Team Secret, they do ban out that Slark. It was also a big problem for them, obviously. Like, um, Quist are playing a really solid Slark as well. So, banning that one out. And Phantom Lancer is also one of Quist's heroes. So, directed bans at that, considering that Scary Faces still need a carry. Yeah. Uh, jeez. What else can they pair? Like, this team already from Secret is just so strong. With the sniper and the troll, like, you could just throw anything together and be fine. Like, get some more solid lockdown. Like, you could pick up mag too. Go for empower damage. Easy peasy. But they pick up the lion instead. They'll put it back on Kuroki. And that's just some more lo solid lockdown for them to abuse. I wouldn't, put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them to run a mag, just considering they again have the troll and line combo. And it can also go aggressive on a dual lane. Um, so putting the mag on the safe lane, but I think it would be a bit, not greedy, but it would be a bit, I don't know, I, I don't really like it too much, it's a bit unstable, I feel. Yeah, you have the empower combo, but at the same time, you sort of, you know, you don't really have anything to counter that aggression from them. Remaining. Yeah, you have the RP, but the Storm Spirit, Bad Rider, that's so many, so many heroes that's you kind of want to play against, and... The Magnus just offers the RP, basically. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it that much. But, you know, Team Secret, they're still very flexible in their decision-making. Again, they can run the troll in the mid lane. They can run them in the safe lane, even the dual off lane. So, they're really, really flexible. With Scary Faces, it's pretty straightforward. It's most likely going to be Storm mid and a Bad Rider off lane slash jungle. So, for their next pickup, we still need the supports that they want to get. I wouldn't be surprised if Disruptor came into play, too, because Sniper won't pick up his BKB that early. Uh, glimpsing a sniper back is a pretty big deal too. Hmm. They go for the witch doctor. Okay, I like the cask. I like the ability for him to get the ags and just have that death ward just bounce like crazy. So not too bad there. Hmm. Well, we see some goodie. Either. Well, we see some goodie level witch doctor. No items except for agonims. Yeah, just straight not ags. Even, yeah. Not even boots. <laughs> Who needs boots um, when you just sit there and channel a ward? But the next being picked up by Secret is pretty crazy. And then the Omni Knight for Scary Faces. That's going to be just GA against the Sniper and the Troll. But even then, I don't know if that's enough. Because it's just a, a Diffusal Blade should be coming out from either one of them. Mm, well, I'm not sure if you... It, but. Don't think you want to run a Diffusal on Sniper. I think it's okay on Ten Troll, seconds. but Remain. don't really want to buy it. But yeah, it's, I think the Omni Knight is a good pickup against both heroes. Five sure, you, you still have the... You know, the magic burst from the line and even from the Nyx, but um, just in general, being able to deal with, you know, 
both the physical and the magical damage with the Omni Knight, so... I, I like the pickup. I like the pickup. And Team Secret doesn't really strike me as a super aggressive draft, so Omni Knight, I think, is going to be a bit safe here, I feel. Unless Team Secret just blow me away with the fifth hero that's, you know, super aggressive. Hmm. So, with this Nyx pick, like, they're going to be looking for the assassinations. Uh, it can counter off the Batrider pretty easily, too, just walking in with the Spike Carapace and the fire, uh, fire, the fire trail. Uh, Ban-wise, like, Scary Faces still haven't given up what their late game is going to be, but, you know, you're going against a Sniper to troll. I, I don't know what they're looking for right now. They take away Quist of Slark. Uh, I don't know what else he has in his back pocket to really deal with this. I mean, the thing is, do you actually want to play late game against Troll and Sniper? Nope. Um, they could just do what they did last game, just make sure that their mid game is so strong that they go into the late game with a huge advantage, so that if they do face up a late game Sniper and Troll, they at least have more gold, more items than them. So um, I think what they want to do here is just go for another hero that's really strong in these mid fight engagement, uh, mid game engagements. Maybe even a PA. I mean, you can close the gap onto a Sniper by, just by jumping in. Okay, not surprised they took with the mag, but you weren't too worried about that anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Last support Let's wise, see. what do they want? What is it gonna be? I mean, if they want to run it, not greedy, but they could technically also put the Knicks in a support role. True. If they wanted to. And they could also steal the uh, disruptor away if they wanted. Ten seconds remaining. Or get someone who could carry a defuser like Marana. Let Marana. Disruptor would actually. Disruptor would actually be good here, remaining. like against all of these heroes, being able to disengage or like to counter the Bad Rider initiation, to silence the storm, um, silence the Witch Doctor. I think that would be good. Hmm. Maybe pick up a silencer. Who knows? <laughs> or just a Skyrath Mage. Skyrath Mage is still on the deck too. Uh, solid silence against the Storm Spirit. Yeah, but also Skyrath Mage is really squishy against these heroes. You get okay. killed quite easily from the storm and the bad rider, even the witch doctor. So, I guess, yeah, I guess Skyrim could also work out. So, oh, they go for the AA. Okay, okay. Radiant team pick. Not bad. Ice Blast, uh, they have a chilling lot touch. Of burst damage. Like, they have a lot of burst damage. And if they just find one pick off with the Nyx, they can just immediately, as you said earlier, like, assassinate him or, you know, blast him with the AA ult, so... Scary faces. What's your one position going to be? PA. There it is. That's going to force MKBs out, at least. And, uh... Hmm. That can try to end the game very early on. If they get I like this. him rolling. I like this pick a lot. They have, um... Like, if you look at Team Secret's lineup, they're not really that tanky. In fact, they're actually fairly squishy. And Scary Faces is just going to try to run them over with mid-game aggression. They have so much, like, PA doesn't even need to buy PKB because there's a repel, so Quista can go even greedier with his item build if he wants to. Uh, the same applies, obviously, to the Storm Spirit, so... I like this draft from Scary Faces a lot, but, again, if they fail to bank on that mid-game aggression and go into late game, there's going to be a troll and a sniper waiting for them. So we need to see Quista get out of control very quickly if they want to take this to 2-0. I mean, if not, we're going to hit a game three. And uh, let me change the overlay here. But this, yeah, but the, uh... good thing, the good thing for Scary Faces is, though, that they have three heroes that they can rely on. Like, Bad Rider is one of these. Like, Bad Rider, Storm Spirit, and PA, are all three of them are heroes that can dictate the pace of the game. So and they don't really necessarily need to rely on one hero to do that, but they can rely on three heroes to do that. And... Unlike the, the last game, for example, where they were solely uh, like reliant on the Slark, but now they have three cores basically to, you know, make stuff happen. So I like this lineup. It's very well rounded, except when they do go into the late game, it's going to be a bit difficult for them. So Shadowway will be playing on your Omni Knight for the SFZ side. A little bit of a skirmish already happening between Ramses and uh, Kuroki. But uh, State 21 played a phenomenal Zeus last game on the Storm Spirit, keeping the lightning theme Eknart on the Witch Doctor, and then we got Quista. He's actually rocking a pretty sick set with the Arcana. I didn't realize it looked so cool. But uh, he'll be playing the Phantom Assassin. I mean, that that's going to be the key to determining if they can close this game out quickly. That is indeed a sick set. I just I just looked at it. Hold on. Yeah. Um, but on the dire side, we have Mexican Standoff in the top lane, actually. Kuroki scouting with his line again. 
We have Arteezy this time on the tr on the Sniper, Zai on the Nyx Assassin, leaving the Troll Warlord for S4 on the bottom lane, and Tudor and Miss Poppy on the Ancient Apparition. So we'll see how the lanes go. This is, I mean, potentially very scary for Secret, but we'll, we'll see. They, they can bring it to late game, no problem. They keep drawing out these games, 40 to 50 minutes, and they have no problem trying to come back from base like we saw them attempt to. Okay. Okay, I like this from Secret. They go for an aggressive trade in here, which is very nice. Like, they have a good lineup for that. Like, they have a good composition for this. Lion and AA are pretty good heroes on lane to have. And, and of course, the Troll is also really strong here as well. So, um, they're going to make life very difficult for SFC. Do they get this kill? Pings are coming out. Quista, he's going to be careful. He's going to get spiked. Oh, no, he, land he levels the uh, Phantom Strike, too. Nice. That was pretty smart play. He didn't... He didn't uh, level anything to start. The issue is now though that, well I mean he's gonna hit level 2 anyway now so it doesn't even matter but yeah with a stifling dagger he can keep up with farm sort of so he doesn't even mind facing an aggressive try I feel. Even if he's put down it doesn't matter but uh they're gonna roam around Kuroki a little bit they'll keep it to a 2-1-2 kind of thing going with puppy holding s4 I mean, the Nyx is gonna get XP. There's not really many ways you can kill him, especially with the Batrider and Omni, but uh, they're putting Kuroki to go with him. This lane, by the way, I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if they invented it, but the first time I saw this lane, this Batrider Omni Knight lane, was with um, with, with Cloud9. Oh. It's honestly really disgusting to play against. Um, you have the na Napalm slow, and if you, if you just if you just slow somebody uh, enough to get in range for the, uh, for the purification, so much damage coming out. And uh, Kuroki's just doing a little bit of pulling himself. Oh, bottom lane, they get the stun on this war. And the purification damage, but... They can get this. Oh, he jumps in! Yeah, he wasn't he wasn't blind or anything. It was a mischance because of the repel. But he doesn't want to go underneath the tower, still doesn't have any of the evasion. Alright, just bullying him out a little bit. Keeping Puppy on his tail, uh, on his toes. That was pretty aggressive, and he, forced, he was forced to use a Tango and a Salve. It's already hurting a bit of his uh, regen. Oh. Mid lane, oh. wow. You don't really expect that. Tinky Winky kill. just dove the Storm Spirit. Now he's going to go deny himself to this hard camp. Can he get it in time? It seems like the answer is yes. <laughs> well played. Wow. That was really well played. I didn't I didn't pay attention to the mid lane at all because you don't really Same. expect a solo kill there. I um, guess it was just shrapnel spam with range abuse and State 21 kind of getting too low for his uh, likings. Yeah. Oh, stage 21, he's so out of farmed as well then. But at the same time, Artizi actually didn't farm as much either. I guess he invested a lot to, you know, harassing. Yeah, he's got two points in shrapnel, so... Just keeps the harass going. Nothing stage 21 can do about it. And then it's just Bottom really... Quest are being harassed, but... Yeah, the cold feet isn't yeah, he, has a... he has an Omni Knight babysitting him anyway. This is just gonna be really be a game of... Can Storm snowball hard enough? Can he start zipping around? When that happens, like, Secret will probably respond perfectly, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's probably going to be a race against the against the clock. Like, who hits this hits this timing first? Um, for Secret, it's going to be Zai. For SFZ, it's going to be either either the Bat Rat or the Storm Spirit. Um, and as soon as one of these hero hits, there, like, you know, perfect timing for a really good item such as a Blink Dagger, for example. Going to make sure that they're going to create space for the carries. Rams is getting a little zoned while he goes for the 4 minute rune up top. And uh, S4 should be able to grab this one with Puppy. So, bit of a rune split. Who's going to get what? Got ourselves a bounty and then a regen rune for Rams. So, perfect rune for him to get back into that top lane. Yeah, that's that's the dream rune. I guess Haste is also pretty nice. Just because he could have run down Kuroki, for example. But, you know, with this he has a lot more sustain. He can sit in lane and just be a general nuisance. Like, all of this harass doesn't matter at all. It never will, sadly. <laughs> so Ramses will finally pop off that regen, and Zai pop at the carapace. Does Ramses try to go in for some more damage here? He's going to keep stacking up the sticky Oh, napalm. bottom lane. Oh. They get a kill on the A. And can they kill S4 in time? He's got the malediction. He's dead. Yep. Taken down from Mechanart. I mean... Yeah, pretty good play from SFC. 
I mean, S4 at least did get that kill. Got the experience for it as well, so... Could've been a lot worse for Secret, but... Yeah. This, this dual lane... I mean, it's not the... Like, AA is definitely one of the squishiest heroes in the game, so... Should've seen that one coming. Site 22, Site 21 oh, actually. Poppy, oh, get, Poppy get. is getting dove again. Oh boy. Quista getting himself pretty big now with 20 with two kills. S4 is gonna chase him out, slow him down a bit, trying to get this kill. There is the evasion online. And S4 doesn't want to commit fully, and you know while we're looking down bot, they end up getting a kill on the bat rider up top. So well played by them, and then a bit of a cast bounce with the purification. They're gonna get the ca the malediction out there, and he should be dead. Yeah, S4 is gone. They're gonna let it tick out, and actually, Shadowway hits him in the head with the hammer. Puts the turtle to sleep. They're yeah, playing this one so well. Like They just know how far they can extend, and what they can do, and what they can't do. So well done. And yeah, as you said, Bone 7... Uh, not Bone 7. Every, every time I see a bad ride, I immediately think of Bone 7. Uh, but Ramsey's dying on the top lane. Playing a bit, I guess, overly aggressive. Did he get a kill on Kuroki in return? Yes, yeah, I did. think he did. He went one for one yeah. there. Okay. That's okay. Um, getting the exp but at the same time, you give Zai not only the XP but also the gold. Now he's basically halfway to his blink. If you look at it, he has Arcane Boots already. And 800 gold, so. I think he's going for that. No, he's going for an urn. Interesting, okay. Why not? Why not? So they're kind of going to switch up the lanes, it seems. S4 is going to be going up top. Try to stay safe while in mid. There's a bit of a dive coming in. State 21 has the repel. Getting slowed up a bit. But... Artesi's able to fend them off, especially with Kuroki in the back. Not bad. Uh, I, I'm i waiting for when State 21 can actually kill off Artesi, because once that starts happening, that's going to be really tough for the Sniper to keep his... Uh, his oh, lead. he finds an Invis rune, and yeah. they didn't have any vision over it. But at the same time, Zai's Invis as well. Oh, he's vendetta up. What can they do about this? They're going to get the Purification on top, but can they get the double kill in time? It seems that they can. Zipping forward. Shadowway's still alive. He actually takes the kill with him, and now Zai... One on one, mano y mano, but State 21 gets spotted out by Puppy too, so forcing him to zip away. And that's a well worth a trade. You kill off the Cypher, you kill off Kuroki on the Lion. Yeah, that was such crucial timing. The fact that he d uh, still got the purification off on the Storm. So much damage on both Zai, uh, not Zai, but Kuroki and um, RTZ. Was huge. Um, State 21 definitely needed it. Finished his Soul Ring just because of that. Uh, and suddenly his farm doesn't look too bad. Too bad at all. A little bit of a stack camp coming in from uh, Ramses and puts him to 1400, so he's gonna get pretty close to that sub 10 minute blink. Well, Quist in the meantime, he finishes up his treads. He's got himself the poor man's shield. And is this a Battle Fury game or does he go like straight Dom and like mm, Basher and such? I think Basher would be too bad here, but Tiki Winky getting crit, actually getting crit twice and the purification on top. They get the repel out on time. Quista wants this kill. He's trying to run away right now. He gets earned up. He turns around, throws out that snipe. Actually cancels it. Oh, there it is. Waiting for the repel to fade. That's what they want. And there you go. Look at that damage. And they even hex up Shadowway before he can get the purification off. But Ramses is here. Pulling Kuroki onto the high ground. They're going to get a Ice Blast on top. And Kuroki should be dead. Malediction 2 coming from the Roche Pit. Meanwhile, Storm zipping on in. Looking for a kill onto Zai. But doesn't want to dive that tower. Knowing how limited his mana pool is, won't, won't risk it. That was almost perfect timing from Arteezy with that um, assassinate. Pretty well done. Um, Quista playing a bit overly aggressive, especially considering he only has one point in Phantom Strike, so 14 second cooldown is actually quite long. Um, yeah, very good trade for Secret. They got a few good kills. Sure, they give away Kuroki, but you know, that's just a support. It's just a casualty of war. <laughs> so, exactly. Uh, how are we doing here? Puppy, 500 gold. He's going to be looking for his arc. He's gonna be looking for his Aghanims. Well, Encart, you know, he's been struggling a bit. He didn't go for any points in the uh, Restoration, which is interesting. He went triple cask and double malediction, so just looking for raw damage. While well, Quista rotates up top, he's gonna find S4, and he's pleasantly surprised to see that he can harass him out still. Uh, there's a little bit of backup coming in. Uh oh. Quista, he gets hit by the Ice Blast. Uh oh. Kuroki's gonna take him down too with the spikes. He's dead. Shadowway oh, can't even shit. help out. And uh, it seems that secret, they're finding their picks when they need them now. But smoke up. Hmm. Mid lane, they find state 21. Uh, he can't Beautiful. That. Beautiful. So yeah, secret. They're making the most out of the map, and SFZ kind of getting picked apart here and there. Like that, I think Storm Spirit should have 
played a bit more passive. And I think he could have reacted to the Nyx. But I, I guess it was just good play from Zai as well. So, yeah, Secret looking at the net worth and experience. Groff leading um, by roughly 2k in both experience and gold. So, SFZ, he, he did ask, do they, do they go Butterfly, uh, Battle Fury? on the PA or not, and I don't know, he might have to. He seems pretty poor at this point, like he's he's got only 32 last hits, even with the two kills and two assists. And uh, in terms of the net worth, yeah, they're, they're, all, they're all down there from the SFC side in terms of the cores. So they gotta make something happen, in which they're gonna try. They had the Blink Dagger for Ramses, and uh, they're gonna be going up towards the top, looking for a juicy troll kill. Ah, uh, they're heading to the wrong, wrong side. They're gonna go around. Oh, they're going wide. No, they're still gonna find him. Yeah, here we go. Smoke nice. breaks. Firefly, there you go. Pulling him back in. Pop of the Malediction and getting the Purification off too. But an Ice Blast may turn this one around. We'll connect onto all three. But there's no Finger from Kuro. There's no Shrapnel as well. And they keep diving. No, they do not. Oh, actually, wait. He, he blinked forward. Well, that's pretty aggressive. Spikes Just come on in. Shadow is dead. He's gonna get sniped out. Oh, but the Purification and Stick Charges. And he TPs out with the Repel. He's good? Oh, he made it. Ooh, that was almost a bad situation. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Um, yeah, good good gank from SFZ. I guess it was a bit of a misplay from the Witch Doctor to immediately drop his cask after the last little hit. I mean, this it's just a small thing, but it kind of cost them because they had to, or they tried to chase um, Kroki, I believe, to, uh, to the tower. So, yeah, this one of a misplay. Oh, mid lane. They find stage 21 again. Jeez. Honestly, they just, so need fast. To, they just need to give him a sentry war for the mid lane. Yeah, either one of the supports drop one for him. Uh, they have him too. But... I think he's gonna do it now. Yep. A little Just late free. though. He could use that much yeah. earlier. <laughs> definitely, definitely a little late. And Zai, now he's close to his blink. Ever closer. 750 more gold, and he's good to go. But they're still trying to find a little bit of recovery on the troll. The sniper's doing okay in terms of kills. He keeps kick killing off his lane opponent. And uh, the Vendettas have been really good early so far from Zai. Yeah, yeah. Like his rotation overall has been almost spot on. I think there was only one failed rotation in the mid lane where they got like counter kills on the on the sniper and the lion. But overall, Zai has just been on point with his rotations. Um, whereas SSZ, I think their early game was really strong, especially their laning. But I think their movement from the supports, like, it's been a bit lackluster. I feel like they don't they're not reading the map properly. They're not reading where they have to be. Um, and there's just, you know, now they're babysitting, babysitting Storm after he died twice already. So, it's a bit it's a bit late for that. And now they're rotating to bottle lane. Well, this could be a good read, though. Because S4 and Kuroki are sitting there, after all. And they're not the tankiest batch. So, let's see. Fire flying over. Ramses has uh, the lasso. Such a good ward coming up from Secret. Yeah. Spotting him out in the jungle, but he's still looking for it. In the tree line, S4. He's not peeking out just yet. Ramses can't see him. Oh, there we go. Blinking, Lasso, Firefly is going to end up ending in a couple seconds. They get this kill. Cast comes in, Purification heal, and Eknar gets the kill with the Death Ward. So that's going to be a tier 1 tower trade from both sides, but a big kill on the troll. So, S of Z making the best of the situation. And uh, being content with this trade. Who's farming solo up here? That's Puppy. So he's actually going for Hanamitis. They're giving him a lot of space. You have to do that when you're playing a support. Kind of need to go for the Midas and then go into the Aghanims. Not only do you need the gold, but you also need the levels. Just because level 3 ults from AA hurts a lot. So, and of course you want that threshold to be even higher. Um, or I guess lower. Either way, Secret looking in a, are in a good position, I'd say. Sure, they just lost the Troll and the Tier 1, but at the same time, Sniper's doing really well for himself. He's very close to that Sanji Nyasha. And I mean, Zai, does he have his blink yet? No, 100 gold away from it. And as soon as he has that blink, I wouldn't be surprised to see him and Kuroki just go for ganks. Maybe go for quest again. Just <laughs> oh. Let's see. Will they go for it? They have an AO. They have an AO, but Puppy's not really. Just, he's like, eh. Can't kill him anyway. Yeah, don't want to. And uh, we got the Dom. Actually, Mask of Madness. This is a. Wow. Very aggressive build to come out. And they need I to mean, make this has, go to use now. He has the repel, so I guess he feels invincible, but I don't like that build at all. I've, I've seen it before in some other game, also on a PA, but I don't like it. 
because it makes you too squishy. It makes you too squishy, and they have a lot of burst damage on the other side. So once that repel wears off, off he's just gonna be burst it down. And this Omni Knight went for straight purification and straight repel, so no points in the aura and no points in uh, GA. So that could affect him in their next fight. Just something to keep in mind. Yeah, it's a question if if Secret have a read on that. Like if if they if they have seen him play Omni before. I know actually that is one of his heroes. I checked that earlier, but. Um, if, if they do know his item builds, if they do know his skill builds, can they, do they have a read on that? Because if they do, I think they would be more willing to fight. But for now, they're just content with trading. I mean, they're giving away tier 1, possibly, for a Roche, which is very much worth it. Yeah. And, you know, Sniper Troll can take Roche very quickly. There's a bit of a dive coming in onto Kuroki, though. Gonna get an easy support kill. But now they see that the Aegis is going over to the secret side. And, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big deal, but... It's up to Secret to kind of make the Aegis go to use. Fortification's coming on in. Tier 1 up top should be going down. Ice Blast will connect onto 3, it seems. And, uh, we see Repel. Mask of Madness to help him push a little bit. Set your ward out too. Covering just in case Zai is there. And then, uh-oh. Zai, he pops the Vendetta. It's fresh. Frames just saw him. No, they're not going to find anything. Okay, okay. They decided to uh, back Zai? up after a tower. Did, kill. Didn't he see that they dropped the ward there? Zai? I don't think so, maybe. Zai, please? Maybe not. He blinks him no, he saw them. Because the creeps attacked him. Oh, S4. Uh, dagger in. All right, he's actually just going to go for it. Why not? Pop the Mask of Madness. He gets bashed on the second hit. Gets a crit out. They stun him up with the cast. Secondary use of the dagger. But they come forward. Two-man spike before we can get the purification off. Zai lining that one up perfectly. Oh, man. What a play. Wow. That was, that was really well done. And yeah, I think SFZ, I don't know why they still went in for that fight. It was three versus... Well, they had to know there were three heroes there as well, so... Three versus three. I don't know, I don't... I'm not sure why they took that fight. I don't like it. And with this, Secret can potentially transition into tower push, maybe? They're smoked up on two heroes, though, bottom. So it looks like Kurokin's I just want to go for another kill here. Should be... Potentially an easy kill. We're gonna find Ramses, though. Hexed up, still fire flying. You get the spikes, get the damage, and he's just dead. Look at that. Kuro getting a kill himself. Gonna have State 21 kind of zipping forward, but he runs out of mana way too quickly. I'm not sure if you caught it actually, but I think, yeah, I think we missed a kill on the sniper. Did we? Um, Storm Spirit killed the sniper before. Like right before um, Phantom Assassin died top. Oh, I didn't even see that. All right. Oh. Interesting. It didn't even pop up because for me. Did after, it? after I said. It, it, did, it did pop yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, State, it state really got him. Okay, yeah. I see it now. Because I was curious, why why aren't they pushing? Even though they just killed the PA, and then I just I just checked for the sniper. Dude, where where are you? Why aren't you pushing? He was dead, so that's why they didn't push. But, so you know, you're running down bots, gonna get pressured. We're gonna see secret. Just try to get a little bit of lead back. Although they're still on top in terms of net worth, the PA definitely didn't snowball as hard as uh, SFZ were hoping for. It had a decent lane, but these deaths hurting it a tremendous amount. It's definitely no slark from the last game. Nope. And the secret have a 4,000 plus gold lead as well as 5,000 plus an XP. So, let's see. I mean, the late game is going to be everything, and that's where Secret want to bring it. There, there. I don't think there's any way to beat a sniper and a troll late game together on the same team. I mean, SFZ also have a decent late game or a good late game with Storm Spirit and uh, PA. Like both heroes, technically, if they if they're five, six slotted, they're also really strong in the late game. It just depends on sort of like what circumstances. Like under what under which circumstances do you get to the late game? Do you have an advantage? Do you have a disadvantage? And I feel like SFZ they need an advantage in the late game to you know prevail. And if they go even into late game, I, I'd argue that. Oh, that Muppy! Wins. He's gonna get targeted out here. Gets one crit and does end up whacking him down. That repel is gonna stop quite a bit of the damage. S S4 is gonna be going in though, but they find the kill onto the Bat Rider. As I believe they were zipping around with state, and then S4 gets dropped too. That's gonna be the Aegis gone. So they pop the GA a little bit just to block some of that damage. State zipping out the safety. The ward is being channeled though, and he gets canceled immediately by Encart. So it seems that state will go down. And it's a little bit of a two for one trade. The cast bouncing continuously, and they're just kind of raising their heads towards each other. But that's going to be a two for one, and now it's your two being pressured out here and more than likely taken. Yeah, bit of a misplay from State 21. Um, he zipped way too far in, I believe. Like he he was. Basically already disengaged from the fight, but then he sort of like tried to go back in onto the sniper and then he wants to disengage again and then he had no mana to jump away again. Oh, Quest is, whoa, this Ice Blast is going to actually connect. He's got to be careful, gets repelled though. 
He's not looking to fight though. Takes way too much damage and the Omni Knight dies instead. And this game has slowly devolved, or very quickly devolved into just secret, just murdering everybody with this sniper and troll. Like it. I think SFZ are overestimating what they bring to the table. Like, I think they they picked the draft that excels in the mid game, but now that they find themselves at a disadvantage, they shouldn't play this aggressively. But they still kind of want to play aggressively because they don't want to give them any space. And, and then, you know, a fight like that one happened. I think they just need to regroup, farm up a bit, and get a few crucial items up. Um, PA is working on the Basher, for example. I, I believe. Even though you have the repel, at some point you should also get a BKB for yourself. Uh, four and a half minutes left on the Roche. We got the Blink Dagger up for Kuroki too after that last set of kills. And all right, everything's shaping up for Secret here, and they're setting up for a really strong mid game. Quist is still trying to recover a little bit. He's going for the oh, bottom next. lane. Uh -oh. Stay twenty one. He's dead. Vendetta finger. They didn't even need it. They just dropped the ice blast. Let Puppy get the kill. And then looking for a counter or something. Shadow away with Eknart can't find it very well executed and I mean the supports in the SFZ side are very poorly farmed usually you kind of have like one poorly farmed here and the other one at least has something but you know Eknard he has I guess he has a point booster um, whereas Kroki he has a blink and Poppy I believe is well at least working on that axe but he also has a Midas so yeah secret very far ahead at this point and looking to probably take the T1 mid uh, top and they have very good map control look look at the aggressive wards coming out from secret into the enemy jungle yeah just all over the place right now so not much that SFZ can look for but they can keep trying using this bat rider to whatever effect they can get from it with the four staff too Jeez. I'm not sure about the mask of madness I'm not sure if I like that pickup like it's it's meant to be very snowbally and get you to the mid game just fine, but this time it did not. It just makes you very squishy in those fights as well. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's tough mean, to manage. If if you pop it, just the sniper and the troll are gonna you know hit even harder, and I, it's a double edged sword. It's a double edged sword for sure. Illusions, Smoke being battles. popped. I think I think they saw it honestly because they have yet another like secret. I think saw it because of that ward, um, and they're in a really good position right now. I mean they're in the radiant jungle, so if if they can't find any SFZ heroes here, they, obviously they have to be in there. They're own gonna run into each other. It seems Zai Bye. gonna find one. They get the spike in. The cast comes out though. It's gonna stun up both of them. Kuroki's gonna be the target. The ice blast is gonna connect with that shot coming in from the sniper. While the Vendetta's popped up from Zai. They get a dagger into Puppy. That's gonna be a crit. They're gonna zip. And he's out of mana though. But look at the crits. Just so much damage while Quista does pick up his basher. They're looking for a little bit more. Can they get anything? And uh is that no, dominated? The satire. Oh, dominated. It's a, yeah, I mean it has a perch, so you don't even need a defusal, right? Yep. Exactly. That's all you need to do is get one of the satyrs and you're good to go. <laughs> They're still looking for a kill though. Malediction doesn't connect. He pops the carapace. All right, no, they catch it just in time, so that's gonna be a quick kill. And now Quista, he, he managed to get two kills in that last fight. Yeah, I mean, if you go for pickoffs instead of team fights, that Mask of Madness is doing wonders for you because you can just kill those heroes easily. But in team fights, it just it just basically kills yourself. So, but yeah, SOZ, um, doing what they should be doing, honestly, just go for pickoffs, regroup again, farm up, go for pickoffs, you know, rinse, repeat, whatever. And secret, I think they got a bit. I guess they were relaxed a bit. They were a bit too relaxed. They're just like not grouped up, not really in a good position. Very aggressive as well. And I think they're gonna play a bit more safe from from here on out. They don't really want to give away too too many kills against a lineup such as that from SOZ. So, Tinky Winky pounding on the top tower. Oh, the Ags is almost online for Puppy too. He's 1,300 gold away. Wow, that's a really quick Aghanims. 2-4-3 I mean, with a Matus. He's, he's been farming the whole time, right? Have, yep. have you ever seen him in a team fight lately? No. He's just sitting in the jungle and just using his ult, so... He's doing a really good job at farming up, and as soon as he has that, ah, oh, it's gonna hurt a lot. Just like how he plays Tree. Just sits back, farms, gets Ags, and then just starts uh, revealing the whole map. This time he's gonna be looking for the snipes across the whole map. Hmm. Quist is finding a haste rune too. He's got an ultimate orb in his back pocket. 
Oh, Quista. Can he? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Blink away. Mid lane right. though. They find themselves Ramses. Ramses, yeah. He's gonna go down. Ice Blast does not connect. They pull back Zai. They're gonna try to get this kill while Quista currently dominating, just destroyed Kuroki. They get a bit of a heal up. Shadowway's gonna get sniped down a bit. S4 chasing in. Quista trying to get Puppy, trying to get Arteezy. S4 is on a killing spree currently. He's just blinking up. Quista gets the bash, but can't follow through. He's too slow from the shrapnel. He does do the uh, Shadow Strike forward. In onto S4. Blinking forward though. Arteezy, he's missing just a bit, but gets the final shot. Gonna snipe it onto Eknar. That's not enough to kill though, even with the urn charge. Healing up too fast, and it seems that's gonna be a three for three. Hiding in the T3 line. Yeah, he gets out of there. Okay. Oh, it started out so well for SFZ, honestly. They just. They still come out huge. Like the goal change is heavily in their favor. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, they. Especially, I think also the XP. But, yeah, anyway, um. They, it started out really well for them. They just picked off a hero one by one. Uh, but, you know, sniper. Just doing sniper things. Yeah. I think in the end they were a bit too aggressive, honestly. Like, uh, Quista, after he got the kill on, I believe it was Kuroki? He should have just backed off, but he tried to jump on the sniper as well. Which eventually led to his demise. It's so hard to kill off the sniper right now, and now Zai is going for a solo kill, but then the Centaur oh! bash! Oh my god, that stomp! The spikes connect though over the side, the urn charge isn't going to be enough to pick up the skill, so he decides to TP instead. Can they get it? Yes, the Yules keeps him alive for a little bit, but the urn charge is still going to tick him down. That was a series of whole unfortunate events, and then fortunate events, and then death. Oh yeah. my. Ah, it was a almost perfect read from Batrider to know, okay, I could just TP out. But at the same time, I guess he didn't really see that that was a Yules on Zai. I'm not even sure if he used the Yules before. Might have been his first first usage of that one. They smoked up. They're looking for a kill. They're going to spot them out here. Blinking forward, though. Quist is going to get caught out and figured down. He gets repelled. Where's the GA? There isn't anything because Jetaway is stunned up. No purification either. He tries to purify himself. He gets hit by the Ice Blast, and he just goes down. S4 getting a big double kill. I'm not sure if he wasn't range for that, but I'm surprised he didn't use the GA, honestly. Um, GA could have prevented maybe the kill. Oh, Yule's in from Zai. He's gonna get the spikes, they're gonna get the snipe on top, but the cast is gonna bounce a little bit. State can make it out of here, avoids the second set of spikes. And uh, he barely survives. Actually, Blink chasing him. Zai couldn't find him, though. And Secret now going for those pickoffs with that Blink on S4. I like this a lot, because Secret they already have, they also have a really good, you know, ganking lineup of, of sorts, and unlike SFZ, if they do get a few crucial pickups, they can transition it into a push or into, like, any objective. Um, I'm surprised they didn't go for Roche, honestly, because they think they could have, but, um, maybe it's because Kuroki's stuck in the trees. Okay, just maybe. Up. That's not the likely option, though, but Eknart's working his way towards his own. Aghanims, he's got 140 more gold to go. Shadowway, he's played the five role, he's been warding up a storm. And uh, what else? What else is coming out? I mean, Zai having a haste rune too. He's gonna pop Vendetta and go hunting. He might just luckily enough find Quista, or uh, nobody is standing inside of that. He really wanted that kill. They need more invis detection, though. I, f I feel like they need a gem, honestly. Like Zai is giving giving his own team so much information. Oh, then Ramsey just dies to Tinky Winky by himself, but State 21 finds a kill on a Kuroki. But now Roshan is going to be S4s for free, it seems. Well, it's, it's taking a bit of time, though. Like, if, if they do smell it, they can still go in, but nah. It's like, there's no way you can take Rosh, right? It's just a troll. Just kidding, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, Secret do get a free Rosh, basically. And with this, they might just push down the lane, honestly. Or go for a pickup first and then push a the lane. Quista might be it. No, nope. all right. He shot strikes away, and what's Quista go for next? It seems like the Scotty might be coming out for him. He's got the ultimate orb in his bank. I don't think a Manta would be more likely, but maybe even a Lincoln's. Lincoln's would be weird. But Vendetta up, Quista. Zai's right next to him. Choosing Again, not to risk need, it though. They need more invis detection. They need sentries or a gem on someone. Like Zai is giving way too much information to his own team. Yeah. And if the, if he caught somebody else, uh, somebody on his like off guard, he could even go for a kill. So I don't know. Is there even a sentry ward down somewhere? No, there is not. There's a good counter ward coming in from the secret side to take control. Oh of that. no, 
No, they have a gem on Ramses. Oh, good, good, good. So, he'll scout out. They'll start clearing some wards and be pleasantly surprised. But Zai is coming up behind. Ice Blast looking to connect. Hits Eknar, and hits State 21. And it's an Axe. Ice Blast. So. Oh, he dodges the spikes, though, unbeknownst to himself. Uh, he's got to know, though. At this point, they've been doing that combo way too many times for them not to know. Easy ward clearing coming out, and now Zai has to be very wary of a gem. Right, a snipe here. Onto who? Nope, he cancels it instead. Just threatening it. Now TZ also has a BKB now. Probably working on an MKB next. He's quite farmed. No, he's the most farmed here on the map. So good standoff with Poppy. Again, he doesn't even need to be here. He just sends his hold down. Oh, Quista. He's able to get away with the Shadow Strike. They get the Stifling Dagger 2. But the Tier 2 tower goes down. And this is just troll sniper power. Like, honestly, they just control the entire game. <laughs> yeah. And you can't really do anything in these pushes, right? Like, no. Sniper's just standing so far back. You can't even reach him. And if you do want to go through him, you kind of have to go through a troll first. And there's all, all, always going to be a line and an X assassin waiting for you, so... Maybe SFZ, you know, overestimated themselves when they let both Oh, this is the gem? Does he lose it? No, okay. Zai does not want anything to do with that right now. But C21 has his BKB, so he's ready to fight. Ready oh, to try to fight. Zai, he's there, zipping forward. They're going to be able to get the Vortex, and more than likely the skill, he pops the BKB. He's double zipping. Yule's defensively comes out. And he drops down with S4 coming into the back. The bashes are coming in. State 21 can't do much. He's finally able to get out of that. But Blinky forward, we got Qu Quista doing some serious damage with the Malediction on top of S4. He might just take out from the Malediction alone, but they decide to back off. Finger comes in. Quista's getting drained out, and the snipe comes out too from the sniper. The Aegis has popped, but Quista's dropped. And now Shadowway stuck in a very tough position, just getting right clicked down by the supports with Zai on the backside and S4 taking down Eknard. So that is that is gonna be a four-man wipe coming into the favor of Secret and pulling a complete 360 from the last set. This is that was really rough from SFZ. They just fought very spread. Uh, they didn't really fight as a team at all, and they just, just ran in one by one. Storm Spirit also a bit of a misplay. He, in my opinion, he just zipped too much. Like he's just zipping, zipping, zipping against the, the Zai who just he just yields himself. So. Secret, most likely just gonna take the racks here, and I wouldn't be surprised if they even threatened another set of racks after this one. Yeah, but again, the... there's there's nothing. There's just the uh, common night. Yeah, but you know, the they're pretty much alive in like the next ten seconds anyway, so no. maybe not going for a third, uh, for a second set of racks. Maybe just tier two top. Yeah, Zai takes it. But they can keep pushing if they really want to. Like, the MKB is online too, so... Uh, there is no more evasion for you guys, at least away from the sniper. And then the defusal comes out from the next two. It's not too bad of a defusal carrier. Uh, I like this from Secret, though. I think they're reading Whoa, the game. Oh, that's enough. so aggressive. Going in onto Ramses. Well, there's a zip in the back line. It's going to be State 21 being able to take down Kuroki with Quista on top. They get a dominating spree. State 21 looking to be good there. While trying to drag it up. The sniper, they just can't do it, but the Ags Ward was doing so much damage, but Zai with a perfect spike through the wall stops that one. Tiki Winky get a drop and S4. Gonna be able to take down the Storm who just committed suicide, never mind. And uh, they, they actually managed to get out of that and keep their second set of racks alive. A bit of an overstay from Secret. This could actually have been a much better fight if Poppy had hit his ult. Like. In team fights like this, hitting the AL is actually pretty crucial. And he missed it before in other fights, but well, they did still manage. Ooh, oh, Omni Knight. No. Goodbye. Sure Just did. the surprise. It's a surprise factor right now coming in from the Vendetta and the Blank Dagger. Yule's coming in to stop any chance of zipping around from State 21, but he finds S4 with a good prediction there. And now S4 should be dropped. He, is he dead? Finally? Can he go down? No, the miss chance is being a little bit too much. He's still going at it. Look at him go. Just swipe it away, but. Quist is able to finally take him out. Quite insane how long he survived for the uh, survived there. But yeah, that was a good rebuttal from uh, SFZ. Oh. And with this, oh, Quista. Quista spiked, fingered, and they even dropped the urn. And the last right click from Kuroki picks up the kill. My God, I spoke too soon. So much back and forth, honestly. Both teams just finding kills here and there, and. Ah.
But I mean, the secret's still overall. I think they're still very content with what they have right now. They have one set of Rex already, and they're definitely still leading. I mean, even though they gave away a few kills here now, they're still in a very uh, commanding position. Uh, Eknar can still turn one of these fights. He's got the Ags. He's been interrupted just about every time he tries to channel the ward, though. And the vision has been pretty limited from the uh, SFV side. SFZ side. I don't know why I keep saying V. Why does V just roll off the tongue better? But, uh, scary faces in a tough spot here, and we might be looking at a game three already. And it's it's very uncharacteristic for a troll and a sniper to just slip through. Like, onto the same team, too, as that. Yeah, and it's, I think it just shows here that, like, they can't really defend these pushes too well. Sure, they have, like, the Storm and the, the, um, the PA to, you know, jump onto this onto the sniper or maybe even the supports but it's still very very difficult for them to take team fights and yeah there it is they just get picked off as well anyway oh scotty's completed up for quest they're gonna look to turn around bkb from state 21 allowing him to chase out a zai kuroki coming into this they get the ga off and then kuroki dropping his ghost scepter he's able to blink out and they barely managed to scrape away with their lives in this but still hunting for some kills no sfz decide to just back away why not? I think this was the first GA in a team fight actually that was useful. Um, Probably the only forced... GA we've seen. In. <laughs> nah, he he used one before, but only on himself for some reason. I think he sort of like missed, just the, missed range. the timing. Yeah, but yeah, I think secret. You know, they could just regroup and rinse repeat. Honestly, yeah. they may just wait for another crucial item to be up on any of their heroes. I guess um, they could wait on the satanic on the troll, for example, if they wanted to. Um, they do have a they do have a defusal on the Nyx though, so if they want to deal with this GA now, they could. Kuro might be dead. Zip it on top. Yep, there we go. They're gonna find something here. Flame break coming in. They set him up with the cast malediction too. No more blinking away. Will be had, and that will be it seems. Shut away, picking up that kill, and then flanky from the back here. But Zai, he's been deaded up. He's gonna look to go for some damage to some harass. Just being pretty tricky, being, being sneaky and. uh Nixing around. Hmm. Honestly, if if Secret keeps doing this, where they just get picked off and um, they can they probably can't push anytime soon if they just keep doing this. Like now they have to go back again. They have to wait until Kuroki is up, and then try to go again. I guess I could also take Roche just just be on the safe side. They should yeah. take Roche. They just and cheese up too, so why not just go for it? Uh, Pretty easy. He has a lot of farm. Probably gonna go for a BKB next. Uh, not BKB. Um, butterfly next. He could just go straight crit too. You know, just try to go for those big right clicks like he already drops down. But you're right. Could see that come out from him. I mean, Quista still kind of feels pretty lackluster even with the Scotty. He does. Like his damage output is not really. It's not something where you get like, oh wow, he's critting for I guess eight nine hundred a person. <laughs> and secret looks like they're not. They don't want to go for Roche. And wow, they just they want spot, kills. Yeah, they actually spot Zai. Oh, uh, Lasso comes in S four. The cast is gonna bounce around just a bit. They're looking for killing a Zai. Looking for killing a Kuro. Can they get it in time? Puppy picks up a. The quick initiation there onto uh, Ramses and takes him out. It's the Bat Rider down. Quist is getting fingered a little bit. Not slowed up. Has the repel still going in with the Zai. Trying to pick up an easy support kill, but just can't do it. Shadow Way down of stunned up too, but S4 getting bashed up just a bit. Shadow striking away is Quista, and then State 21 loses all of his mana. He's stunned up a little bit again, getting spiked down, gets the repel, but now flashing and uh, blinking forward is <laughs> Arteezy as he just gets a huge amount of damage. Eknar going down, and that might be game. That is more than likely game. Number two over to the secret side. I mean, I don't like singling out people for mistakes, but that bad rider, like he, he got a really good initiation on S4, but instead of pulling S4 towards his own team, he just pulled him away. And in fact, actually drove himself to suicide by force staffing into the sniper. So I think that kind of cost them. Like, I think that fight was actually, could have been really good for them if they just, you know, caught out S4 in the beginning, but nope, they didn't. Yeah. And... With this, yeah, this is Secret's game. Like, they have two wrecks. It's very unlikely for Secret to still throw this. 
Especially we'll see though. Oh, Yules defensively keeping the Nyx alive for just a little bit. They're zipping forward. BKB out. Kuroki gonna get slowed up just a bit. He should be at least dead. Still chasing this one. Does State 21 looking for S4. He still has his BKB available. Does get lassoed. Can they get the crits out in time? They do. State 21 picks up that kill. RTZ canceling the snipe and just running away, just waddling away as a little sniper, little old man. Oh, he's going back in. Oh, yeah, he's faking it. He's playing with his life though. Like he is so aggressive and so. Damn cocky right now. I'm not even sure who he tried to assassinate. Like who could, who could he have killed? I don't know. But RTZ is just doing RTZ things. Picks up Scotty, and he is six loaded now. I guess he could still sell his bling for something else. But other than that, he's pretty much done. Yeah, the twenty-five thousand gold ahead, twenty thousand in terms of XP, and uh, just going to town. Why not? <laughs> okay. Without looking at it, but who do you think is the, the fourth most farmed hero on the on the map? I don't know. Probably the Knicks. Nah, it's Puppy. Uh, it's Puppy. Of course it's Puppy. Why wouldn't it be? He's got Ags. He's looking for his own scythe. He's been using the Hannah Midas the entire game. He's been doing nothing but farming this game. I think this is the first team fight that he was actually physically in. Like, he was actually physically around for that team fight. Um, didn't actually do much, so. Didn't actually need to be there. And now it looks like he's gonna farm. Maybe a Hex? Yeah. Hex would be good. Hex with the ultimate orb sounds just dandy. And now it seems that Arteezy is going to be trying to solo off Roche here. The only thing is he's got some people coming in. Kuroki's going to get lassoed up. Now they find out that Arteezy was in the pit. He pops the BKB. Can they get there in time is the question. They need to get this kill. This is an absolutely huge kill. They're going to go in onto S4 instead. The repel up the cast going through as well as the bounce is coming out. But again, Zai from the side stopping that. Death Ward from going in, and then they're getting slowed up by the Scotty there from Arteezy, but the BKB from Quista chasing this one down, getting the crits and getting the kill. State 21 unstoppable, Zai still in the back, still maledict enough, gonna stop the back actually from State 21 and pick up a kill on Omni Knight. Look at Zai go, absolutely insane right now while Quista on a killing spree. S4 blinks back in, but this might be the downfall of him. Can they get the shots in? The Yules coming out defensively, S4. Quista going in with a Shadow Strike and they can get the kill! Oh man, the missed chance. Without the Repel, he can't do anything and S4 gets the double kill. And that is going to be Aegis, Cheese, and more than likely the game. But even after all of that, SFZ still come out in terms of gold and almost about even in terms of XP. Sai is such a boss. Like, he, he saw that the, the heroes were trying to retreat to defend their base. But, you know, Zai just doing Zai things. And... Well, he probably just saved them the game there. I mean, it's not like they were gonna they're gonna they're gonna lose, but well, the courier also getting a, too. getting a kill on Arteezy would have been huge for SFZ. I mean, they did get a kill, and if they had gotten away with it, that would have been huge for them. But instead, they lose a tier four and a half. They gave away the Rosha, the Aegis, and the Cheese. So. Mission Impossible right here for SFZ. They're in the same situation Secret were in last game, so <laughs> gotta remind everybody of that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Except I guess they don't really have the best lineup to defend this. Um, I think I'd argue Secret had a better lineup to come back from that last game. I don't know. But yeah, they're pretty much in the same situation. Down two sets of racks and facing either Mega Creeps or just getting thrown. And a haste for S4? Mm, maybe I'll take it. Let's see. Uh, is this a smoke attempt up top? It seems like it is. Yeah, they're blinking forward. They can't get it. The Carapace coming in too fast. The Yule's defensively out too. There's the Ice Blast on it too. Some serious damage with a finger down onto the Bat Rider. Then they just blow up that poor innocent Witch Doctor. So S4 is going to chase them all down with the Haste Rune. Can Omni Knight get away in time? Shadow Way? I don't think so. S4 is going to look just to die. You can't slow him down with the Stifling Dagger either. He's just like, whatever, everybody circles around your base. But looking for the Bastion of State 21. Can he get it? Finally has it. And with RTZ there, they get the kill. Just an instant buyback from State 21. Quista can't do much against these MKBs. And I mean, RTZ and State 21 are going to man fight it for just a little bit. He goes in onto S4, vortexes him up. But this should be the game, it seems. They're just critting down. Look at the damage onto the Omni Knight as well as the Troll. Good game, well played, it's called. And it seems SFZ have just been completely wiped out. And, uh, Team, Team Secret taking a controlling and dominating game number two. Yeah, I think uh, this is the game that Secret needed to come back from this. Like, um, just being very dominant, showing that SFZ, hey guys, we're actually, we kind of want to go to this land final, so could you not? And SFZ, 
kind of sad that they lose this much momentum they had. I think in the beginning you could even see that they were very eager to, you know, get uh, take the momentum they had from game one into this game two, and they quickly lost that momentum though, so they'll be looking to get it back in game three. Yeah, so we're going to go to a quick break, guys. I'm eager.